In this video, I'm going to answer the question, how do you use deep in the money leap put options to generate awesome cash flow and return? This is a technique that I've had several subscribers ask me about, so here it is. I know you're going to get a ton of really great information out of this video that you can use to put cash into your pocket every single month. I'm Randy Perez. I'm a 22 plus year stock and option trader as well as real estate investor. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know how much I like using leap options, especially on non-dividend paying stocks. And you also know that my favorite technique is to sell naked put options on stocks that I'd be happy if they were put into my account. If those stocks are put into my account, I then switch my strategy over to a covered call strategy while I collect dividends on the underlying stock. However, as you will see in this video, you can use leap options in a totally different way. The question this video will answer is, can you sell leap put options to generate awesome cash flow and returns in your account? The answer, as you're about to see, is absolutely. In this video, I will show you when is the best time to sell leap put options, why you might want to sell leap put options instead of nearer term options, and exactly how you would go about selling leap put options to put the odds of winning those trades drastically in your favor. And stay tuned in until the very end where I'm going to share with you an incredible technique that only a few option traders know about that can produce ridiculously awesome returns for you. Here you see a stock, Kimberly Clark, ticker symbol KMB, that I sold put options in today. If you look at the charts, you'll see why I sold those put options. On the daily chart, you see that Kimberly Clark has been declining over the past couple weeks. It was right around the red 200 moving average line, which is at 140. But over the past several weeks, it has declined to around $130 per share. Notice that the area around 130 served as support back in November of last year, as well as early this year in January. And now it appears that this area of 130 is again serving as support for Kimberly Clark. If you look at the weekly chart on the right, you see one of the reasons why this area is such a good support. This area right around 130 is where the red 200 moving average is located at on the weekly chart. If we look down at the volume on the daily chart, you see there's been some pretty decent green volume updates. However, word of caution on the weekly chart, notice that over the past couple weeks, volume has been dominated by red. Will this red 200 moving average hold on the weekly chart? Well, of course, we don't know. I do like selling options around moving averages and areas of previous support. So that's why I sold a put option in Kim and Clark today at the 130 strike price. Is this a position where it would be advantageous to sell a deep in the money leap put option? The answer is quite possibly yes. If you believe that Kimberly Clark will end its decline, hold around this area for a while, and then even quite possibly increase in price, then this could be an awesome spot to sell a deep in the money leap put option. Here in the red box, you see five strike prices of the January 2022, which is about a year out, put options that are available for us to sell. If I were looking to sell an in the money leap put option, I'd probably consider the 140 strike leap put. I've circled that strike price put options Greeks in the yellow rectangle. Some of the reasons why I picked the 140 strike price is that first of all, notice that under option open interest, there are 413 open contracts at this strike price. So this isn't exactly a thinly traded option. The next column over Delta, you see that for every dollar that Kimberly Clark increases, this option will lose 62 cents in value. Let's now focus on the column labeled Vega. For long-term options, in my opinion, this is the most important factor in deciding if this is the right time to sell a deep in the money leap put option. Let me tell you a little bit about Vega since it's so important to our discussion here. An options Vega is a measure of the impact of changes in the underlying stock's volatility on the option price. Specifically, the vega of an option expresses the change in the price of the option for every 1% change in the underlying volatility. Simply put, options are more expensive when volatility is higher. Thus, whenever volatility goes up, the price of an option goes up. When volatility drops, the price of an option will also drop. Notice under the column vega that as volatility declines, this $140 leap put option in Kimberly Clark will lose right at 45 to 46 cents per share. This should help you to appreciate that the absolute best time to sell a leap put option or any put option is when volatility in the stock has increased and you expect the volatility to dissipate over time. The faster the volatility dissipates, the faster you'll realize your profit. But there are other factors that help determine whether you will have a profitable trade. 
Notice the column on the far right labeled theta. Theta tells you approximately how much this option will lose in value each day due to time decay. This 140 January 2022 put option will lose about a penny and a half per share per day. Remember that short-term options tend to have a greater theta or they will lose value faster due to time decay, whereas longer-term options like leaps tend to have a lower theta. However, longer-term options tend to be affected by volatility a lot more than nearer-term options. Let me show you what I mean. Now you see the option chain for Kimberly Clark for the March 19th options that expire in just 42 days. Notice the same 140 strike price put options circled in the white rectangle. Look over to the far right under Vega. Notice how much lower volatility will affect this option. It's only 0.122 as compared to the Vega of the January 2022 leap put option, which had a Vega of 0.459. If a stock has experienced a lot of volatility recently, and you believe that volatility will diminish over the coming year, it could be an excellent decision to sell a leap put option. Here you see a breakdown of a couple of the components of this January of 22, 140 leap put option. As you can see in the red rectangle, the value of this option is made up of approximately $10.55 of time premium. If Kimberly Clark is still this exact same price on January 21st of 2022, this option will have lost $10.55 in value due to time decay. In the orange rectangle, you see that approximately $8.45 of this option's value is made up of intrinsic value. If you sold this put option, you would need Kimberly Clark to go up by $8.45 by expiration day to pocket that portion of the option's value. What kind of return could you realize if you sold this January 21st of 2022 140 put option? If we take the average between the bid and the ask, which would be about $19 a share, and divide that by the 350 days until this option expires, and then annualize that return. If you're looking at a non-leveraged return, which means you have the cash to buy the stock if it was put into your account of $140 times 100 shares or $14,000. This option expires worthless on January of 2022, you've realized a 14% annualized non-leveraged cash on cash return. Typically in my trades, I like to target at least a 20% annualized non-leveraged cash on cash return, but there are several situations in which selling leap options might be advantageous for you. If a stock has experienced a lot of volatility recently, but it's now stabilizing, it could be an awesome opportunity to sell those leap put options and then close the position out early once that volatility has normalized. In that situation, you would not have to hold this option until expiration. You're simply doing a play on volatility by selling an option that has a lot of volatility priced into it and then buying the option to close it out once the volatility returns to normal. One of the nice things about selling leap options is that it does not require as much work as selling shorter, nearer term put options. Theoretically, you can make this trade and forget about it for a whole year. And the returns are actually pretty decent considering the minimal amount of work that it would take to keep an eye on this trade over the next year. Next, I'm going to share with you an awesome technique that all option traders can use when you sell leap put options. But if you're finding value in this video, please hit the like button. It helps me know that this is the kind of content you want to continue seeing and it helps support this channel. Let me share with you a little known strategy you can use when you sell put options that can create tremendous returns if the stock moves in your favor. What I'm about to share with you is a strategy you can use if you're very bullish on a stock. This strategy involves selling a leap put option and then using that cash to buy a leap call option. Let's go back to our January of 2022 short put option. If we were very bullish on Kimberly Clark, we could take the money we received from selling that leap put option, which should be around $19 per share, and use that money to buy, say, the 140 leap call option. As you can see here, if we were able to sell that 140 put option for $19 per share and buy the same expiration day 140 leap call options, that would cost us around $7 per share. We could actually buy two leap call option contracts for every one put option contract that we sold and still pocket $4.80 per share. When it comes to leap options, I typically like to buy them when they're in the money, but I also consider buying them at the money in special situations such as this. What would the payout look like if we were correct on this trade? Here you see a graph of the profit and loss in that position. Yes, if Kim Clark declines, then both your leap call option and the short leap put option will both show losses for you. However, if Kim Clark heads in the direction that you think is going to head up, then your profit could be quite large. If you're very bullish on a stock, this can be an awesome way to take advantage of selling premium to buy call options that'll pay off big time if you're correct. In essence, 
You gain these call options for free by selling someone else the right to sell Kimba Clock to you at $140 per share anytime over the next year. If you'd like to receive alerts every time we make a stock and option trade, similar to the one that we did in Kimberly Clock that I mentioned earlier, consider the benefits of becoming a patron at the link in the description below. Check out the video in the link above in the description below where I go into great detail about how I use Leap Options to generate awesome cash flow and returns every single month. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.